waste is a problem that has to be solved, but it is also a resource to be used. I hope that Gatsin Han will get inspired by our solutions on waste management. We are committed to continue the cooperation and we also hope that Serbian people will soon join us in the EU. Opština Gadžehan počela je saradnju sa Danskom opštinom Lolan 2009. godine. Već 2010. godine pobratimili smo se sa ovom opštinom, tako da je to sada naša bratska opština. Sve ovo je počelo preko Danskog programa LEDIP koji se sprovodi u Nišavskom okrugu. Za sada je ta saradnja prvenstveno na nivou ekspertske razmene, na nivou njihovih iskustava koje ima u Evropskoj uniji. A propo tome već radimo jedan projekat koji se finansira iz sredstava Evropske unije, to je po projektu Exchange 3, gde su nam oni partneri na tom projektu održivo upravljanje otpadom u opštini Gađen Han. I ova poseta je studijska poseta u okviru tog programa. Očekujemo njihovu uzvratnu ekspertsku posetu negde septembra meseca. preko danskog programa LEDIB u ovoj i narednoj godini radit ćemo i Twinin program vezano za opštinu Gađen Han i opštinu Loland, a nakon toga nadamo se da ćemo nastaviti tu saradnju, ne samo na ovim tipskim, da tako kažem, projektima, već da će doći i do određenog transfera znanja iz Danske prema Srbiji, odnosno iz opštine Loland prema opštini Gađen Han. who deals with the uh, waste collection, waste treatment and uh, energy production. Uh, the company was founded in 83 and it was uh, owned by 13 municipalities on the island of Lolland and Falster. I think it's important to, to know that in Denmark waste and energy is uh, planned as two sides of, of the same story. We uh, handle about 110,000 tons of municipal solid waste in, the, in this plant. And uh, we produce energy, and uh, energy as hot water, and energy as electricity. And for one ton of waste, we produce about 1.7 megawatt uh, hot water and 0.4 uh, megawatt electricity. And then it is also unique for Denmark that, that uh, waste treatment and energy supply are planned together. So you can only situate uh, a plant like this at places where there are also district heating systems that, that uh, can uh, use this uh, hot water that we produce. Of course we have to do some nego negotiations uh, to, to fix the, the prices for, for, for the heating, uh, for the hot water. And uh, then we have a contract uh, in, in our situation, this is a contract for 20 years, uh, who fixes this price for, for, for energy in hot water. And then we sell uh, electricity on, on the market and uh, in a way you can say the rest of uh, our cost 
has to be fulfilled by uh, the waste producers. Ja ću vam reći da mi smo u Nišu i jedini prvi koji smo formirali udruženje reciklaža od 15 kompanija gde smo se udružili sa ciljem da prevashodno u svom gradu pokušamo da sa lokalnom svom upravom nađemo rešenje oko upravljanja čvrstim otpadom. Tako da nam je ovo jedno od iskustava koje ću da prenesem klasteru kad se bude vratio, na koji način oni su rešili kad je u pitanju reciklažna dvorišta. Za grad Niš može u potpunosti da se primeni, bez obzira što je tehnologija skupa. started uh, in a kind of a tragedy for Lolland because it, it started when uh, one of our largest uh, factories uh, um, decided to close down uh, their factory in, uh, in Naxco, in western part of Lolland. So the situation was very critical and uh, there, w there was no doubt that something had to be done. And uh, the first thing that was done was that they, they um, established a, a steering group um, and the steering group um, had members from the National Ministry of Economic Development and the region and the municipality and uh, the, the organization for, for Danish companies and um, the, the union for workers and uh, the educational institutions and um, uh, the local job center. At this stage we have four, four tracks uh, in this strategy and the first one is about uh, new jobs in Lolland uh, and that could be uh, by expanding uh, existing companies or it could be by attracting uh, new companies and investments to Lolland uh, or it could be by helping entrepreneurs in the best way possible etc. And the number two track is, uh, is about uh, trying to further develop uh, the, the core competences uh, uh, we have or strongholds we have in, in Lolland. That's, uh, you know, clean tech and green energy. Uh, it's agriculture and, and quality food and it's tourism. And, and, and the, the number three is about uh, competences and uh, education uh, and where some of the activities are a, a training course for the unemployed uh, workers. And the fourth uh, track is about uh, profile. Lolland, uh, trying to, to make uh, clear for the for the outside world what a nice place it is uh, to, to 
to, to have a company in Lolland because the, the costs are low and uh, there are many available uh, areas for, for developing uh, industries. These four tracks are, are, the, are uh, as I said, the, the only the preliminary uh, thoughts of our steering group, um, and now they, they have to be um, to be further developed. going to be probably the first uh, plus energy factory we will produce more energy than uh, than we will consult ourselves to get energy we have to buy it from some place here we get it from the sun then we have to figure out a way to get it out produce uh, photovoltaic models, uh, we have different kind of uh, products, we have roof integration models, we have building integration models, we do uh, PV in many, many aspects. Uh, we have been many years in the market and been partly of developing the market and, and try to, to support the requests that have been. Mainly most of the requests in the early days have been architect requests and that means a new project for each time we have done anything to the last five, six years where there have been more mass production to big energy parks and things like that because there have been quite high support on, the, on this field for, uh, from governmental and the rise of prices and the normally fuel uh, price, electricity price have been rising also so that have been pushing it forward. Primarily we are doing a good product here. The financing is a very attractive thing for the, the European community, for the municipality, because they bring innovative new solutions. Uh, and it's an area which is growing with approximately 400% globally every year. So the, the getting the financing has been not so difficult again to get it. Uh, the most difficult things have been to get it through from the European community, which is very important that you precisely know how to do it, how to come through the procedures. And the municipality have been very, very helpful in this area. I mean, without their helpful uh, part doing, getting through to those uh, bureaucratic offices, uh, it would be very difficult for companies to get through it. In the municipality of Lolland, I'm a project manager. Uh, I work with uh, different uh, development projects in, uh, in our villages, uh, for instance, could also be uh, in the cities. We uh, always try to uh, include the citizens uh, in the project, so I work very much with citizens uh, in, the different, uh, in the different projects. We have uh, different types of uh, EU funds uh, accessible for, for us. We make application uh, first for, for, to the Danish uh, state and they will uh, give us some co-financing. We always have to pay a lot of money ourselves, uh, nothing is free. Uh, we pay taxpayers money uh, into these projects. We decide on the budget 
we get some supplement from the Danish state and then we have the option also to uh, applicate uh, for uh, uh, other funds from EU. Vi treba da se pripremite do otvaranja tih fondova. Šta hoću time da kažem? Treba da imate plansku dokumentaciju, treba da imate projektnu dokumentaciju, građevinske dozvole i onda kada se raspiše odgovarajući poziv po određenom onom stubu, vi morate u datom trenutku odmah da reagujete. Suština je pripremiti se kvalitetno, imati odgovarajuću plansku dokumentaciju, projektnu i onda ti fondovi daju puno mogućnosti. very satisfied uh, with the relationship and the cooperation with Gatsin Han uh, municipality. Uh, we are, although there are some big differences, we are all, always, all, also very alike. Uh, they are small, rural, uh, rather poor municipality. We are also uh, a rural and uh, a, a rather poor uh, municipality. Many of the problems uh, that we have uh, are the same in, in Garsin Han and vice versa. Well, Holland is an island, it normally has its own advantages. However, what we can do is to do the transfer of knowledge in the preservation of the environment, then the transfer of knowledge in the renewable sources of energy. Garsin Han has a much bigger number of sunshine days than many locations in Serbia. The plan of the Suva Planina is one of the five locations in Serbia where it is possible to produce energy from the wind, that is, wind generators. There is a huge potential and the biomass for production, that is, composting, for the production of energy from biomass. In principle, it would be the beginning of our cooperation. Poljoprivreda, turizam i ta industrijska proizvodnja koja je ne samo vezana za tu primarnu proizvodnju, naveo bih primjer da imamo jednu mlekaru u Donjem Barbešu, da imamo nekoliko sušara privatnih na području opštine, da se trenutno gradi još jedna mini mlekara u Gađinom Hanu, svojevremeno je bila i u Donjem Dušniku, znači da... Ta primjerna proizvodnja ima i svoju preradu kako bi se normalno sve to na kvalitetni način valorizovao. Ja sam zamjenik direktora Gordon Mihajlović, firma je Resor, sedište je u Gađinom Hanu. Bavi se proizvodnjom komunalnih vozila. Inače, mogu da se pohvalim da smo prvi u Srbiji kao domaći proizvodjač. 
Uglavnom, radimo za naše komunalna preduzeća, a počeli smo da izvozimo za okruženje, znači Crnogoru, Bosnu, Makedoniju, tako da smo malo proširili tržište. Radi se o projektu održivog upravljanja otpadom u opštini Gađin Han. Vozilo je nabavljeno u okviru projekta. Vrednosti je 46.000 eura, znači 20% vrednosti projekta. A u cilju našeg projekta održivog upravljanja otpadom na teritoriji opštine Gađin Han. Našoj opštini je bio potrebno jedno ovako manje vozilo za odvo smeća. Zbog same konfiguracije terena, zbog ulica koje su uzane, tako da ćemo ovim vozilom pokriti odvoženje smeća na, da kažem, 90% teritorije opštine Gađinha. Sam geografski pojam zaplanja je takav da se nalazimo između dva autoputa E75 i E80, odnosno da smo jedna prelepa kotlina koja nema zagađivače u smislu teške industrije. Jedan od stubova razvoja opštine jeste i razvoj tog planinskog turizma. Ove godine se radi i prostorni plan posebne namene suve planine kao zaštićenog prirodnog dobra, što opet ima svoju valorizaciju u smislu da može da se iskoristi i u ekonomskom smislu. Osim turizma, naš potencijal jeste i poljoprivreda, zdrava hrana, kao i organska proizvodnja. Imamo ogromnu biomasu koja sada propada na obroncima suve planine i ne samo suve planine. Znači, potencijali za stočarstvo su takođe veliki. Opština Gađinhan ima za sada samo sektorske strategije, imamo strategiju razvoja turizma, strategiju razvoja poljoprivrede, socijalne zaštite, upravljanja otpadom i upravo sa danskom organizacijom LEDIB koja radi u Nišu, koja nas je i povezala sa Lolandom. Ovih dana potpisat ćemo ugovor za izradu strategije održivog razvoja opštine, koja će upravo definisati sve te prioritete, a takođe radimo i prostorni plan opštine Gađenhan, koji opština Gađenhan do sada nije imala, i on će upravo odrediti sva ta dešavanja, lokacije i buduću tu viziju razvoja opštine Gađenhan. You know, you have a lot of unemployed people in the Nisaba district, around 45,000 people. And this is, of course, a major problem to economic development. So with this program, the overall goal is to reduce unemployment. And how do we do that? We do that by working with the SME sector to develop SMEs so they get stronger, they get bigger, they get more experienced and consequently, consequently they will need to employ more people. The reason why we choose uh, south of Serbia was because of a study, because of an assessment all over Serbia before the program was started. 
uh, the conclusion of that assessment was that the biggest potential for creating new jobs would be in the southern part of Serbia. The Danish government and the Serbian government has chosen a niche and the Nistava district to be an ideal place for creating new jobs. That's why we are here in Nish. And I think we are the only donor program having our headquarter uh, in Nish and not in Belgrade. In Belgrade you have a lot of, of donors, but here we are the only one with a headquarter here. Business advisor and at Copenhagen Business Center, and at Copenhagen Business Center, we are working with entrepreneurs and smaller companies, and we are helping them to establish themselves and develop it. We are a group of consultants that are taking care of the strategical, strategical issues and then a group of advisors that are taking care of the activities towards the, uh, the local business. It is mainly entrepreneurs, however it is also now uh, the companies that can make a growth because the Copenhagen city needs more employees uh, in, in, in the city. against the, the business are to advise, has been so far, to advise the entrepreneurs. However, we are now going to secure that the entrepreneurs we have started one, two and three years ago are going to survive and develop their companies. It is totally financed by the Copenhagen uh, local authorities because the politicians has decided that it is necessary for developing the business that we are giving this advice free of charge. A lot of municipalities have problems when they want to hire a boss. They often ask us to help us in the recruitment process. We give very good consultancy services when a, prop, a municipality has problems, for example, with an organization. We negotiate the wages. That's extremely important, how we solve the problems with the wages, that, that the wages are regulated according to what the municipalities can pay. Another big thing is the equalization system, that it's us who actually I mean, we're the front runners in this equalization system because we negotiate it with, with the Danish state on how to make this system and also on how much money the municipalities get. So it's actually quite vital to be a member of this organization because we negotiate with the central government. I mean, we're the first people that they talk to about the money, the budget of the local authorities.
it's important to have one association that is in consensus, that agree on the overall objective. So until now, we have actually managed to convince also the richer municipalities to pay to the poorer municipalities. But we can only do that if we perform well. If we don't perform well, we can't convince the municipalities that pay to the poorer that they should do that. It's actually quite difficult technically to find out this system and it's only one or two persons also here who know how to do that. So, so it's also the technical part that is in our hands. We can help the municipalities to, to perform better. It's my impression that there is a huge potential for the south of Serbia, but this potential has not been exploited. Uh, so far you have not really been able to exploit the potential. And why is that? Uh, this is a good question. But I think that the lack of modern management could be uh, one answer. I really think that, that uh, this potential will be exploited within uh, the, next, uh, the, next few, the next few years. Mm -hmm.